As a teenager, Matt Sidway was British under-17 squash champion and was tipped to be the next British hope on the world stage. But financial constraints have meant that Matt's transition from juniors through to the senior game has been less than smooth. I was slightly let down by England squash in a sense where my strength and conditioning funding with English Institute of Sport was, was cut short. I feel that um, like my coaches were getting paid by the funding and now I have to fund that myself and I think that's been really, really financially difficult for me and I've had to obviously take up a, a job where I have to work really early in the morning and to get some money to pay for my coaching now. Squash is England's 10th most played sport, eclipsing rugby union and cricket. Matt is currently ranked 270th in the world, the same ranking occupied in tennis by Britain's Liam Brodie. However, with tennis being more prominent in the nation's sporting consciousness, the golfing financial clout between the two is ever increasing. Well, it just shows the massive divide through tennis and through squash and the, the prize money, so to speak, the sponsorship deals. Like the, it, it's nowhere near the same. I think, uh, like Liam Brodie has been, is probably thousands and thousands of pounds ahead of what I would ever be in, in the game of squash. Perhaps recognising their shortcomings, England Squash have pledged almost £5 million to support elite training programmes over the next four years. Hopefully, for tomorrow's squash stars, the road to the top will be a smoother climb. Ben Rees, Keys TV News.